Hello, only uh, Kana is here today with me. All right. <clears throat> Happy Tuesday and welcome to week five. Oh, crap. Internet connection is unstable, it says. So hopefully, um, my internet at home is not too bad. Um, well, I'm in the wrong one. Uh, sorry, the wrong class. So, um, Kana, do you have any specific question before we get started? Okay, have a, all right. Um, so as you probably can tell, I am still, put, still putting up um, week five module. I've put up some of uh, the items, but I'm still working on the discussions forum. So let's go to student view and uh, access our module um, for week five. Okay, so um, I hope that you've gotten a chance to do the chance to do everything for week four, and week five um, has begun yesterday. So this week is um, continue. We continue to read the sympathizer chapter seven and eight, and we read part two, chapter eight and nine of On Writing Well. Um, we should already have read, finished part one for those uh, chapters. So seven, the first seven chapters should be uh, should have been been read by now. We'll go into chapter eight and nine to learn more about how to write more effectively. Then we have this uh, short article on the, how to um, spruce up our letter writing, right? Um, this is just something for our letter to the editor. Um, so, this, so this article becomes useful because it falls underneath the uh, inquiry approach that we, that we've been using and inquiry as you know is from uh, the curious writer okay so this article um, talks about how to personalize uh, writing something for the newspaper okay we've been uh, storytelling into our own letter um, I've copied and pasted uh, these links again because we continue to work with them this week especially the Great Debaters movie. Um, the other two uh, videos show us more about rhetoric. And then this block here um, focuses us on uh, four different videos on how to improve our writing. Um, so these should be, these videos should still be helpful to you if you didn't get a chance to, to read, oh sorry, to watch these videos. Uh, here's another chance to uh, to check them out. The Vietnam War series on uh, PBS is concluding soon, so um, people should uh, check them out, including um, us. Um, <clears throat> even watching the first episode of this series is helpful to help us understand the sympathizer a little bit deeper. So uh, check, check these videos out <clears throat> for this week. By the way, I think I, I need, uh, well, I, I do need to add an announcement. Oh, I did, okay. So I'm thinking of making this um, event like to mo if uh, if I could motivate you to to go, I'm thinking of making it a or have I already stated it? Um, I did tell I remember telling um, Raylene that that if you attend this event, you can earn extra credit if that's what you want to do um, because you have to pay money to go see it. It cost ten dollars as a student. Um, it is on October 18th, and I'll be there. I'll I'll be in the audience to um, to attend this event, and um, so I just thought that uh, I would remind you again to, if you want to, you can go and um, 
check it, check uh, this event out to listen to Ken Wing and Andrew Lam speak, have a conversation about um, important um, issues that we deal with today. Okay, so um, there's that. Where am I at? Okay, so after that, you have journal number four. We have to to keep doing the journal weekly. Um, so we are up to chap uh, to week four now, and so our journal should be on one of these bullets. Okay, it could be on either chapter five or six of the sympathizer. It could be on uh, one of these um, shorter pieces. Okay, so um, that's our journal number four. Um, should be familiar to you by now. Thank you. All right. So uh, next is our letter to the editor. Oh, I use this this rubric, but um, it hasn't been shown to you yet. So oh, I oh, it is shown to you because I am in student view. Hmm. Whoa, hold on one second. Let me go <laughs> go back to the module. Mm. Excuse me. Huh, I, I think I did something wrong. Uh, letter to the editor. It shouldn't be this one. It should be the, uh, the that's so weird. Oh, it says locked until October 3rd at 4 a.m. Okay, so I need to change that. Oh, it's supposed to happen. Okay, um, no wonder you cannot see it. Um, hold on, let me change that. Hmm. This is 223. Okay, got it. Oh. <laughs> Canvas is super weird right now to me. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, now we should be able to view this. Okay. Yeah, here it is. So just uh, whatever I've already put um, under week four discussions forum. So first locate your editorial and um, follow these steps. Once you found uh, an, an, uh, an editorial of your own liking, um, you can start reading it. So the New York Times um, is probably the best choice right now because it's got a really um, awesome opinion editorial board. So I would recommend this and just to bypass the databases for now, the evergreen databases. So you go under opinion and then go to the editorials, right? So go there. Then you need to put in your keyword for the search view. So what is your keyword for your controversial topic? Let's see if I could try to help you out a little bit. Have you found your editorial? This was from last week, but uh, just making sure. So enter in your, um, editor, uh, your topic here, uh, the keyword, which controversial topic are, are you using, are you following? Okay, immigration, and uh, you can sort by relevance to newest. So uh, here we have recently his uh, President Trump's travel ban. So you can select this one if you like. Okay, and it's not that long. So what you do is you read and annotate it to get the gist 
of this article, right? The, um, the main argument of this article. Uh, then you reread it again to make sure that you're not misunderstanding it. So I, I recommend at least reading it twice and um, uh, try to summarize it within one or two sentences. You're using one or two sentences and then uh, leave that summary in your intro paragraph as you write your um, letter. So this document here um, is the template including the uh, the outline. So the pre-write was done um, through discussion, week four discussions last week, right? Um, that was our um, pre-write. So posting a paragraph on, on that is your pre-write, okay? So check in week four again. This one right here, I've asked you to um, to look at this, and then uh, what what the, the the paragraph that you wrote for this one is for the interview paper. So that was the, the pre write for for that. So for your pre write for the letter, you can type up a, a short paragraph um, indicating how you found or how I helped you found uh, uh, the editorial. Okay, on uh, the New York Times. So that could be your pre-write and then you can use your, um, you can use the, the example outline here to create an outline. Um, we, we are obligated, well, the, the word ob obligated is a little bit um, harsh, but we're held accountable. <laughs> I don't know if that's been better. Uh, accountable to do the pre-write and the outline for for each of our major writing assignments. So so always um, think about that. Always keep that in 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 mind as uh, we work on new assignments. So we always need to do the pre-write and the okay. So the template here enables us to to see what uh, what it should look like and. Um, the due dates for the letter are here, right? Um, so the first draft is due this Sunday and you post that on week five discussions forum, just very similar to how we did um, uh, this peer editing um, for the personal essay. So we're doing, that, we're doing that again for the letter. So I need your draft on discussion forum by, by this Sunday. Then the draft should include the pre-write and the outline. Then you would need to, uh, I need to fix it, don't worry, I need to specify this so that people aren't confused. Uh, let, me, let me specify this. Um, do, 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 do. Please include your pre-write and outline with your chat. Uh, we okay, so that that should specify it for for people. Um, then we're gonna be using um. Oh, well, this doesn't work. Oh, I'm thinking about um, I'm thinking about the the timeline here. It's a, a little bit tricky. Wait, I don't I need to I need to move the 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 date uh, and the time for the for the draft um, a little bit sooner. So I'm gonna say Saturday. October 7, so that I will pair you on Sunday. And then the, the uh, October 7, and then the handout is due. You can, have, you can turn that in uh, the same way. I'm not sure because the, the due date for discussion five is Sunday. And so, then you need to post your first draft in on it by Saturday. 
And then I pair you on Sunday. Oh no, that's Friday. Friday would be better. So similar to last, um, to the last assignment we did with the person essay. And then the, uh, peer review handout will be due on Sunday, October 8th. And then the final draft will be due, yeah, the following Sunday, okay? So the peer review would be um, done as part of week five. So week five, we'll, we will do the peer review, which is um, this week. And I'm still, like I said earlier, I'm still putting up the discussions forum for us. So then the letter um, peer review is going to be part of this week. But then your final draft isn't due until next Sunday. So, so that's going to be the various due dates we have here for the letter to editor. So after the, the letter is done, um, after I have graded it, what you do is you revise your letter more um, according to my feedback. Right, so if I see that you have like a comma splice, then you fix that comma splice, or if you have a run on, I, I ask you to fix that. And then after you fix your errors, you can send it off to um, the publisher. So again, if you, uh, if Tana, you're writing to respond to this, then you would submit your letter to the New York Times. And it's really easy to submit. Um, um, you can search here and say sub how to submit my letter to the editor. Okay, so let's try to see if that helps. Oh, uh, this system's okay. No, that's the archive. So we're, we're looking for information on how to how to submit our letter on the New York Times. So let's see if we could find it using Google or something here. Hmm. Previously, I just so click on this and see this is the editorial board um yeah i don't i don't see it on this so i'm gonna use google which i did use before so I'll just letter submission the new york Times. Uh, and it says you have this link here, how to submit. So all you do is you email your polished draft to this address. So it's letters at nytimes.com. So that's what you do for submitting your letter. And like I've stated here, if you get your letter published, you can earn 100%. That's 20 points, actually, because the, the rubric states 20 points. I have a chance to point that you. Okay, so I haven't touched gradients at all. So bear with me and I'll try to do that um, this week. But last Saturday, I did manage to, um, to grade most of what I got, but not the, uh, the personal essay. And it looks like only 13 people turned it in. Um, uh, two people asked me to, to submit it late and I said, okay. But if you have not got a chance to turn this in, please do so. Uh, Edna, it's not the, you, you guys have turned it in already, so that's good. So I'll look at, I'll look at this um, submissions later. But yeah, we, we have quite a few people who have not done that, their personal essay. So they are going to need to do that soon because week six next week is when i submit um the early alert report 
And early alert is just a way to help students out by, um, you know, bring them back on track. So a committee at Evergreen Valley College, ABC is uh, been built or has been built to, to reach out to students who, whose name appears on this report. They got all these, prof uh, they got all professors reporting on the, the status progress. The progress report is what it is. And then, um, and then we reach out to, to those students who have been not doing well. So that's the early alert. And um, so hopefully the, that program, yeah, the orange dot means it turned in. So it's fine, um, you're on time. And that means you're qualified to revise the, the, the essay. If you turn it on time, you, you can revise it further. If you turn it in late without my okay, um, you won't be able to revise it. Yeah, that's what um, the, the revision process is. And as you can see, revision is a chance for you to increase your grade. So say that you, uh, you get like um, 25 out of 30, and that's a B and you want an A. Um, if you turn it in on time, or you got an extension from me, you can revise it to increase your grade to an A, okay? So that's what, uh, that's the benefit of, um, the benefit of turning things in on time. Uh, the people, like th those people without anything in, like these people will not be able to revise and I will put a zero like I would here right now, right? Until they turn it in and then I change the, the grade, but I'm not gonna do it now because Looking at your at your grade and you see a zero, that could be um, bad. That could be really emotionally draining. So I'm gonna leave it blank for now until I grade it at the end of the week. So the thread ha is still open for people. Anyway, so um, wait for me to put up week five discussions forum. I'm still working on it, and um, check back later. Um, at the latest, tomorrow by five, like usual. I should have it on, um, I, should have, I should have them up, this one up by, by then, by tomorrow before five. Um, what else can I tell you right now? Um, that's pretty much it. We're working on the letter right now and uh, the letter to the editor. And I, I hope that you both have found a candidate for your interview paper, right? Um, the, the more time you spend on it, uh, the better the chance of you getting this paper, <laughs> getting this paper in correctly on time. So um, it's the hardest part, thank you. The hardest part is um, trying to find someone. And if you're gonna wait and not work on finding someone, you're gonna run out of time. So that means that things can get pushed back for you and um, <laughs> things add up quite fast, right? If you don't get week four done by now, you know, the, the feeling of overwhelmed, overwhelming, uh, being overwhelmed is, um, it's really, you know, stressful and, and don't, don't do that. So I would start by thinking of uh, and asking that ideal person for an interview. And this doesn't have to be somebody uh, hard to reach. It could be like an, a professor on campus or um, like somebody who works on campus and we have a lot of staff and faculty at Evergreen who can and will be willing to and are willing to work with you. So look locally um, and uh, arrange the interview and maybe even get it done way in advance so that um, you got time to, to work on the, the interview paper later after, uh, afterwards, after the letter is done. So the, int the interview paper, we'll begin working on it next week, meaning um, I'll be putting up more information on it and uh, including a template and more detailed guidance will be given next 
Tuesday when we meet for the first time for week six, okay? But now is a good time to start thinking and asking people for the interview. Yes, yes, that's fine. Um, but he must not be related to you. Try, try to go, um, yeah, try, try not to interview a family member, okay? Uh, but, and, but that works. Um, now, the family member thing is tricky and unless you cannot find anyone else, um, you can possibly, the, the assignment does allow you and Ballinger, the writer of the Curious Writer, um, the writer of the, our textbook, the Curious Writer does mention that you can interview a far relative, okay? So not somebody from your immediate, immediate family, but a distant relative can work, okay? So a business owner works, um, that's perfect. And hopefully um, this person will, will meet, meet up with you and you can just sit down for a, a nice cup of coffee and just talk to them like uh, a regular conversation, right? It doesn't have to be formal. Uh, it just, you would like to learn more about this, uh, about your topic with, with this person and see if this person has some insight, some expert knowledge he or she can share with you, and that's it. All right. Uh, that's all I got for you right now. Uh, do you have questions or concerns for me or anything with your grades? All right. Um, join me again, to I think, to Thursday. Join me on Thursday again if you have more questions, and I should have a uh, module uh, for this week put up by 5 p.m. tomorrow. Thank you. See ya.